Ever pondered what could happen if money lost its value overnight? Welcome to the world of hyperinflation, where the value of currency plummets and prices skyrocket in the blink of an eye. This economic phenomenon is not just a theoretical concept, it's a reality that has affected economies worldwide. And it doesn't just impact the cost of your morning coffee, it can have far-reaching effects on investments, particularly exchange-traded funds. Let's unravel this financial enigma and its impact on exchange-traded funds. A hyperinflation, a terrifying term for investors, but what exactly does it mean? While hyperinflation is an extremely high and typically accelerating inflation, it quickly erodes the real value of the local currency as the prices of all goods increase. This creates a situation where the general price level within an economy increases rapidly as the nation's currency loses its value. So what causes hyperinflation? It's typically caused by a significant increase in the money supply that's not supported by economic growth. This can happen when a government prints money in amounts that exceed the demand or when the production of goods slows down, but the supply of money keeps growing. The effects of hyperinflation are far-reaching. For starters, it erodes the purchasing power of consumers and savers as the value of cash decreases drastically. On the other hand, it's a boon for borrowers as the real value of their debts diminishes. Historically, we've seen devastating examples of hyperinflation. Take the Weimar Republic in Germany in the 1920s or Zimbabwe in the early 2000s. In these cases, the value of money dropped so dramatically that people had to carry bags of money just to buy a loaf of bread. Hyperinflation can turn the economic structure of a country on its head, resulting in severe economic instability. Now consider this. If a country's economy is in such chaos, what do you think happens to the investments in that country? Imagine the havoc this could wreak on your investment portfolio. Before we dive into the effects, let's understand what exchange-traded funds are. Imagine a basket. But instead of apples and oranges, this basket holds a variety of stocks, bonds, or other assets. This is essentially what an exchange-traded fund or ETF is. It's a type of security that involves a collection of securities that often tracks an underlying index. However, unlike a mutual fund, an ETF trades on an exchange like a common stock during the trading day. The purpose of an ETF is to offer investors a way to pool their money in a fund that makes investments in stocks, bonds, or other assets, and in return to receive an interest in that investment pool. It's like buying shares in a portfolio of assets. Now, what could be the impact of hyperinflation on such funds? Hyperinflation and exchange-traded funds, a combination that could lead to a financial roller coaster. So what exactly happens when hyperinflation meets exchange-traded funds or ETFs? Well, let's break it down. Exchange-traded funds, as we know, are investment funds traded on stock exchanges. They're designed to track the performance of a specific index, sector, commodity, or asset. Now introduce hyperinflation into the equation. Hyperinflation is an extremely high and typically accelerating inflation. It quickly erodes the real value of the local currency as the prices of all goods increase. This creates a situation where the general price level within an economy increases rapidly as a currency loses its value. So how does this affect ETFs? In a nutshell, hyperinflation can wreak havoc on an ETF that's based on a currency experiencing hyperinflation. As the currency depreciates, so does the value of the ETF. This is because the assets that the ETF holds are denominated in that currency. As the currency loses value, so do the assets, and therefore, so does the ETF. This devaluation can lead to significant losses for investors. Let's say you've invested in an ETF that tracks an index of a country experiencing hyperinflation. As prices skyrocket, companies within that index may struggle, impacting the overall performance of the ETF. This could lead to a decline in the value of your investment. However, it's not all doom and gloom. Remember, ETFs are diverse by nature. They can include a variety of investments like stocks, commodities, and bonds. So while one asset within the ETF may be suffering due to hyperinflation, others may be performing well. This diversification can help mitigate some of the risks associated with hyperinflation, but it's important to note that hyperinflation is a severe economic condition. Its impact on ETFs and the broader financial market can be significant and far-reaching. Sounds alarming, doesn't it? Let's see this in action. Zimbabwe, a country that experienced one of the worst hyperinflations in history. Let's take a step back to the late 2000s. Zimbabwe was in the throes of a severe economic crisis. 
The government was printing money at an alarming rate to meet its expenses, leading to a hyperinflation scenario that saw prices doubling nearly every day. At its peak, the monthly inflation rate was a staggering 89.7 sextillion percent. Now imagine being an investor in Zimbabwe during this period. The value of your investments would be rapidly eroding as the purchasing power of the Zimbabwean dollar plummeted. This was the harsh reality faced by those who had invested in exchange-traded funds, or ETFs, tied to Zimbabwean assets. ETFs are investment funds traded on stock exchanges, much like individual stocks. They hold assets such as stocks, bonds, or commodities. In Zimbabwe, as the hyperinflation spiraled out of control, the value of these underlying assets in ETFs fell drastically. Instead of providing a diversified investment, these ETFs exposed investors to extreme losses. To illustrate, consider a hypothetical ETF that held Zimbabwean stocks. As hyperinflation set in, the value of the Zimbabwean dollar nosedived. Companies found it increasingly difficult to operate profitably, leading to a decline in their stock prices. Consequently, the value of the ETF holding these stocks would also plummet. But it wasn't just local investors who were affected. International investors holding ETFs with exposure to Zimbabwean assets also felt the pinch. Their investments shrunk in value when converted back to their home currencies due to the steep depreciation of the Zimbabwean dollar. This case study of Zimbabwe serves as a stark reminder of the potential risks associated with investing in ETFs in economies susceptible to hyperinflation. It underscores the need for investors to carefully consider the economic environment and stability of the countries in which they invest. A real-life example of the detrimental effects of hyperinflation on investments is there a way to protect your investments from such a financial catastrophe? Yes indeed, and let's delve into that now. Firstly, consider diversification. It's an age-old adage in the investment world, don't put all your eggs in one basket. This means spreading your investments across various asset classes and geographic regions. By doing so, you reduce the risk of a single economic event like hyperinflation, wiping out your entire portfolio. Next, consider inflation-protected securities. These are types of investments that are designed to help protect against inflation. For instance, Treasury inflation-protected securities, or TIPS, are U.S. government bonds that adjust their principal and interest payments based on the rate of inflation. This adjustment mechanism can help protect the purchasing power of your investment during periods of high inflation. Additionally, commodities can also act as a hedge against inflation. As prices rise, the value of tangible assets like gold, silver, or oil often increase. Hence, investing in commodity ETFs might be a smart strategy during hyperinflationary periods. Finally, remember that knowledge is power. Stay informed about global economic trends and understand the investments you hold. This will enable you to react intelligently to changes in the market, rather than making panic-driven decisions. In conclusion, while hyperinflation can be a daunting prospect for any investor, there are strategies and investment options available to help mitigate its impact. After all, the best defense is a good defense. Let's recap what we've covered in this financial journey. We started by unraveling the enigma of hyperinflation, a scenario where the price of goods and services in an economy increases at an alarming rate often leading to the devaluation of the local currency. This is not some abstract economic theory. Hyperinflation has real, tangible impacts on people's lives and investments. Next, we dove into the world of exchange-traded funds, commonly known as ETFs. These are investment vehicles that track the performance of a specific index, sector, commodity, or asset. They allow investors to diversify their portfolios and mitigate risk, a crucial strategy in the volatile world of finance. We then explored the interplay between hyperinflation and ETFs, discussing how hyperinflation can detrimentally impact the value of ETFs, particularly those heavily invested in a hyperinflating economy. We took a deep dive into the case of Zimbabwe, where hyperinflation reached dizzying heights, to illustrate this point. But it's not all doom and gloom. We discussed various strategies to mitigate the risk of hyperinflation on your ETF investments. Diversification, both geographically and across different asset classes, is key. It's also crucial to keep a keen eye on market dynamics and economic indicators to anticipate potential hyperinflation scenarios. Remember, knowledge is your best tool in the game of investments. Understanding hyperinflation and its effects on ETFs allows you to make informed investment decisions, equipping you to navigate the tumultuous seas of the financial world with confidence. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.